<laughs> oh, hi. Welcome inside the Casino Raven Grill Room. Steve Buffer and Gareth Wheeler with you. We call this segment Overtime. And Steve, today in today's Toronto Sun, you wrote about Ken Hayashi and the many roadblocks that the commissioner has put up to really growing the sport of boxing in the province of Ontario. Now that UFC is coming in, you got to think that things are going to change, Steve. Well, yeah, it's, absolutely. It's kind of funny. I, I, I talked to Dana White and Tom Wright, who's UFC's head in Canada, and they both basically have, you know, they have no idea what Hayashi's done to boxing. And they haven't talked to him about UFC in Ontario going forward. I just think something's got to give because it's been the Ontario government's uh, uh, mantra, in my opinion, to kill boxing in the last few years. Oh. Because when Hayashi became the commissioner a few years ago, boxing, there was a lot of stuff going on in boxing. There was illegal fights. The commissioner got convicted for stealing money. I'm sure Hayashi's, uh, when he came in, his agenda was to keep boxing down and you talk to any promoter over the years the ones that are still in business because there aren't that many they all they do is go on and on about he's, he's just regulate them to death and it's not just medicals it's everything it's like before every show he puts them through misery and i'm just going to wait to see when ufc comes in they either got to do the same thing to them or they're going to bend over backwards and show favoritism right and they probably will show favoritism steve they're going to open the door because money solves yes. all issues and the fact that they can bring in a whole lot of money into the product uh, that's going to have a lot of people saying yes instead of no. Well, absolutely, and it just goes to show you money talks. I mean, I keep hearing from my, my mixed martial arts and boxing buddies that either Hayashi's going to step down or he's going to bring in another guy to oversee just the mixed martial really? arts. But if I'm a boxing guy, Gareth, i got to tell you, I'm going to watch everything that the commission in this province does when it comes to UFC because if they're, they're going to show them special treatment or whatever, then it's a totally Does unfair. Does in the province of Ontario have that big of a voice, though? No, it to, doesn't. To, to, you know, to, to actually create positive See, change. that's the sad part about it. It doesn't. And, you know, 15, 20 years ago, it did have a voice. It's been beaten down so much, there are hardly any cards, as you know. Fewer and fewer promoters. Few and f our best fighters are fighting out of Montreal in the States now. Then it's I'd really sad. Off. I'd be calling for Hayashi's head. Like, honestly, him stepping down seems like the only amicable way that, this, that the commission can kind of save face and make sure that the MMA people are treated the same way as the boxing people. Well, I agree, but it's like you said, Gareth, they don't have a hammer. The boxing, there's so few and f far between as far as having any power, and there's not that many promoters around. They haven't got together. They have, they, all they do is they complain to a guy like me in the media. They, they outline the problems they've gone through. I, I talked to Hayashi about it, and he's unapologetic. He says, I don't care what they think. I'm all about safety, which is great, but it's not just about safety with this commission, and it's not just Ken, because I'm sure he just dances to the master. It's all about about making these guys go through okay. hell. You okay, know. so before I let you go, i got to ask you this. UFC, there probably won't be many big roadblocks or hurdles for them to jump over. But smaller associations, other people that want to stage mixed martial arts events, those are the people that are going to suffer, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. If they hold them to the same standard as they held the boxing people, they're in for a rude awakening. Absolutely. It's going to be a really interesting time. So, you know what? UFC's coming and everyone's happy, but there's a whole lot of BS that's going to come along with it. And we'll see where how it all plays out. Steve Buffery, you can read his stuff on torontosun.com and pretty much daily in the Toronto Sun newspaper.